Thank you. I'd like to um, yield uh, four minutes to Representative from California, Representative Napolitano. General is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise in strong opposition to H.R. 1, particularly Division C, which was introduced in the House as H.R. 1152 and was marked up by the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure with strong opposition from my Democratic colleagues. The Polluters Over the People Act let polluters off the hook for harmful actions and damaging impacts on our rivers, our lakes, and our streams, and that our local communities rely on for clean, safe drinking water. Division C is an attack on Section 401 of the Clean Water Act, which is a key mechanism for states and tribes to validate projects that cross within their borders and have an impact on their waters and environment. For decades, Section 401 has been a successful example of cooperative federalism while preserving state authority to manage their natural resources. Section 401 has been well-supported, effective tool since the beginning of the Clean Water Act, but the Trump administration found a way to make it a scapegoat for the failure of senseless and harmful mega projects. The provisions in the Polluters Over People Act would tie the hands of states and tribes seeking to preserve stream flow from their water supplies to prevent runoff and water pollution and to minimize impacts to preventing flood preventing wetlands. It goes against the Clean Water Act's rights of states to prevent, reduce, and eliminate pollution. First, in California, this bill would have huge impacts. For one, limiting analysis to only discharges would mean the state would be unable to consider the impact of the whole project, such as increasing impervious surfaces or considering downstream effects, our state is trying to pre preserve every drop of water we can get. Yet this bill will stop my state from protecting its water supply from the adverse impacts of projects pursued but out of state interests. Second, this bill places arbitrary and likely impossible timelines on the state to act on permit requests. Despite how complicated or huge the project might be, this bill will severely limit the time allowed for a state to review its impacts. My friends across the aisle may not realize this, but this bill may lead to greater numbers of project rejections as the state is pressured to respond with it without the time to fully analyze their project. This bill is another attempt to cut, gut, really gut the Clean Water Act and allow pollution and industry to act without repercussion. We must defend human health, our economy, and the natural environment, and oppose the damaging bill that will harm local communities. Mr. Chairman, I ask unanimous consent to include in the record a letter from the states of California, state of Washington, and state of New York, in strong opposition to 1152, which is the bill that became Division C of HR1. The request is covered under general leave. Thank you. In this letter, the states highlight how this legislation will undermine ability to protect water quality within the states and erode five decades of successful cooperative federalism. Mr. Chairman, I strongly oppose H.R. 1, Polluters Over People Act, and urge my colleagues to do the same. I yield back. Reserve. Gentleman reserves, gentleman from uh, Missouri is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this time, I would yield four minutes to the gentleman.